Hello everyone, welcome to We Have Indonesia 2020 Goes Online. My name is Harris and I'm going to be the moderator for this webinar. This webinar is going to be presented by Ms. Hanna, Ms. Henny, and Ms. Liande, the representatives of University 20. Please stay tuned until the end of this webinar because we will hold question and answer session. If you have any question related to the presentation or to the country's higher education, you can submit your question in YouTube's comment anytime throughout the presentation. Now, without any further ado, please welcome representative from University 20. Time is yours. Yeah, thank you uh, for having us today. And uh, yeah. I'm here today uh, from the University of Twente together with my colleague Liana and our student ambassador from Indonesia, Haini. And um, yeah, I will start by uh, sharing my presentation with you. So quick check, is it all fine? Can you see it? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, welcome to the presentation of the University of Twente from the Netherlands. Um, yeah, I will uh, tell you today about um, our university about uh, studying in the Netherlands. Then um, uh, we will present you our research and education uh, uh, options and programs that we offer. Um, I will introduce you to our, yeah, the more practical side about admission and scholarships. And then also Hini will tell you about her experience of coming to the Netherlands, what it's like to study here, a bit about her student life, uh, maybe how to prepare. And yeah, we are very curious about your questions. Please feel free to ask them already in the chat, but uh, we can also address them then uh, centrally at the end of this presentation. First of all, where are we actually in the world? So the Netherlands is, yeah, well, we call it the gateway to Europe. It's really centrally located in the continent. And um, you can find us in Enschede, which is around two hours from Amsterdam from Schiphol Airport. You can see it here in the card, we're really in the east, so close to the border to Germany. And um, yeah, the Dutch are traders from origin. And because of that, it's a very international country. Around 90% of the people that live here speak fluent English. So that's also something you would experience when you, when you come to study here. It's no problem at all to find your way in the beginning to, uh, yeah, to, to get along and, and, and make your way and into your new life in a different country. And, um, and yeah, the infrastructure and also the safety network here uh, in the east of the Netherlands is very good and living standards are pretty high. So as you can see, like, it's really uh, easy, uh, easy to reach Schiphol Airport, but also Düsseldorf International Airport in Germany is, uh, is pretty close. And uh, to have a deeper look, and why to study actually in the Netherlands. I mean, you, you made up your mind before joining this webinar, of course, today. Um, yeah, by choosing to study in the Netherlands, you choose for a, yeah, a new experience abroad to, to uh, enlarge your language skills uh, for sure in English, but also, of course, if you like to, to in Dutch, it will increase your chances on the job market. And especially about the Dutch culture, it's very yeah, open-minded and warm and um, it's a really inter international flair in, 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 in the Netherlands and also especially at our university. I will come to that later a bit more in detail. Mm. And also the Dutch universities are very um, high in international rankings. Our university is one of the yeah, four research universities in, in the Netherlands together with Delft, Wageningen and, uh, and Eindhoven. So what would you expect at the University of Twente? Um, we are a rather new university founded in 1961, and uh, the focus is uh, of, the, of the whole um, yeah, um, vibe and the ambitions of the university to develop technology and to study also the impact of technology on society and on, uh, on people. And that's what we call high-tech human touch. So we offer programs in the field of uh, technology, but also in the field of behavioral and social sciences. And um, yeah, all the programs are accredited by the um, yeah, official accreditation organization of the Netherlands. And um, the, yeah, the university is really um, 
focusing on on supporting students to to develop their skills and to to de uh, yeah to be able to reach their amb ambitions and in the last uh, decades more than thousands spin-off companies have emerged from this uh, university you might know uh, booking.com for example and um yeah that it it offers an excellent student guidance and tutoring so the connection with with students is uh between lectures and students is pretty close and there's also a lot of guidance by um, older stu students that are a bit further in their studies and, and tutoring classes so you learn from each other and with each other. Some facts and figures, a few I mentioned like the spin-offs for example, um, well we're uh, having a full service campus university of <laughs> around one half uh, square meters and there we yeah um ho host welcome uh, teach with uh yeah uh, almost twelve thousand students so it's still relatively small um and that enables to to yeah have have a yeah close community on campus and um it's yeah there's attention for the individual um possible because of that and um well on this campus there is really everything located from research facilities to the study places there's also student housing sports culture facilities it, it really stimulates a, a, a com community feeling and i think um yeah Penny will tell you later also a bit about he, how she experienced that herself and uh, about maybe the indonesian community um on our campus and um because the international uh, uh, community is actually pretty high, around 30% of our students come from all over the world, from a lot of different places. So there is a lot to explore on campus. So as I already mentioned, like the core, uh, the heart of the university uh, is high tech human touch. So uh, the, University connects technology, the high tech, to the human behavior or not the social relevance, the human touch. And um, therefore, uh, yeah, therefore, the, the very reason to exist is to engage in groundbreaking research. So, for example, there is pretty strong research in healthcare in uh, um, intelligent manufacturing systems, but also in smart materials. Um, it goes to the digitalization of society, so tackling all the new um, or yeah, developing uh, questions of, of the world in, in our research, um, like also how to yeah, engineering um, resilient world and uh, find sustainable contributions to, um, to, to the challenges of society. And um, also students are pretty close involved, especially during their masters in the research and in the research group. So also to contribute with your own wor uh, work during your study time to uh, yeah, what the university is uh, uh, working on and contributing on. And um, to, to do that, there are different like state-of-the-art facilities on campus, um, which are, yeah, for example, the, the research lab that are, that are shown here, um, it goes also very broader, especially also for students. There are like creative workspaces uh, where you can make use of for, for your research, but also for your, uh, yeah, for your learning. Um, this is like to mention our, our big research institutes here to give an impression about the variety of, uh, of research that's taking place at the University of Twente. Of course, this is a step, uh, step further. You're uh, at the moment looking for what am I actually going to study? So here we have a list of our uh, bachelor programs. It's pretty long and you can have a close look here. Um, you can also, of course, have a closer look on our website where you can find all the descriptions of the modules, what you would actually uh, have for courses. Um, but to give you a first broad overview, we have uh, 16 bachelor programs that are taught entirely in English. So there are no uh, hidden Dutch classes uh, in between. So you, you, can, uh, you can follow them completely in English. Um, they are all three years. And uh, yeah, they vary from uh, uh, mainly engineering technology related programs to also uh, business information or uh, social sciences. So here, yeah, if you have any questions about any um, yeah, of those programs, 
you can uh, yeah always reach out to us later or um, yeah, have a first look at the website where you can also find contact from someone directly from the program. But yeah, we're curious to hear how we can help you already right now. In case you're looking for a master's program there, we offer uh, even more programs also uh, in, in English. As you can see here, they are sorted by uh, the various fields of expertise. So from uh, ICT related programs like uh, um, computer science or interaction technology to the real science uh, programs, health related. Of course, the engineering programs like uh, civil engineering or uh, uh, mechanical engineering, mm. societal uh, behavioral science related programs like uh, psychology or communication and um, um, programs like uh, gear information science, earth observation, spatial engineering. So you can, you can see here's really a broad variety um, of master's programs. And I think what's uh, yeah, interesting to know is also that most of those master programs offer um, elective spaces. So there's also uh, in, in most cases room to create your own, um, yeah, uh, to, to give a program your own, um, I know I'm missing the word, like to, to, to select some courses maybe from another related field to, to give it your, uh, yeah, your own, to make your own story out of it, to reach your ambitions, what, you, what you're interested in. So uh, yeah, on the, on the website, you can, you can find in-depth information about the, about the content of those programs. Then uh, with this, uh, I would like to give you a, a brief overview about the, how the academic ca calendar is actually uh, structured. So how does a year look like? Um, yeah, the year is uh, divided into semesters, which are then divided again into quartiles. So per year you have uh, four quartiles that are like uh, in the bachelor covering um, each quartile one module. So you have four thematic blocks throughout your bachelor. And um, those start uh, in September and the year ends in, uh, yeah, in uh, the first week of July. And then there are summer holidays. And um, yeah, if you would come to the Netherlands uh, uh, to our university to start your study, then before your study start, there's an orientation week, a kick in where you get fam uh, familiar with your program staff, with your schedule, all the systems, what to use, but also um, to make first friends and to, to get to know your fellow students that you will be spending the next three years in case of bachelor with. And the University of Twente has uh, yeah, a lot of cooperation uh, with Indonesia throughout the last years, uh, or many years. <laughs> and um, yeah, we have uh, at the moment more than 100 uh, students for our programs that come from Indonesia. Um, as you can see, more than 1,500 alumni over all the years. And there are also many partnerships um, with, good, uh, with good universities in Indonesia. So uh, if you have um, more questions about that, I'm uh, sure that my colleague Leander can talk, uh, tell you more about that um, at the end during the Q&A. So let's go to the more practical side. Um, now you know a bit what you would uh, uh, yeah, expect at our university, a bit what we offer and um, what is actually necessary uh, to do to be able to come here. Mm. So uh, I'd like to start with the admission requirements. These are pretty long slides because it's a bit different depending on, on your background. Um, I can imagine that this might le uh, leave questions open, but to give you a first brief overview, um, if you come from any international school, if you have A-level exams, IB exams, um, you, you're eligible depending also on the courses that you chose from uh, each student we ask an English language certificate also a bit depending on if you may uh, might have had English as ex exam subject in your uh, in your international diploma then you might be accepted that depends a bit on the case so we would need to uh, check that individually mm. and also uh, some of the programs have specific requirements so uh, if you like to 
But if, for example, uh, yeah, yeah, one of the engineering programs, it might require physics. Um, if you're curious, if you would need that as exam subject, you can also check the um, website of that program. It says um, quite uh, clearly what kind of exam subjects you would need to be eligible. So that's always good to check up front. Um, and in case that you go to a national high school, then um, we would cry an overall result of 75%. Uh, um, and then also combined with um, extra um, courses from uh, the mentioned certificates as here on the slides. Um, also other options uh, that there are to enter the University of Twente if you don't fulfill the above mentioned ones is to follow the Twente Pathway College. So the foundation year that is offered here on our campus um, in Enschede at the University of Twente where you would follow um, specifically prepared subjects that are um, developed in line with our bachelor programs. And by following that year, you can then directly enter into your bachelor program after su successful completion, of course. Um, then you can enter in the first year at our university. And another option would be to uh, first attend the University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands to afterwards enter at the University of Trent. Going to the masters, mm, yeah, there are also uh, some overall and specific requirements. Overall um, is, uh, yeah, that you have to prove your English proficiency. Um, and then it depends really on the program that you want to apply, apply for. Um, yeah, of course we ask for a relevant bachelor's degree so that it's, um, uh, um, yeah, that you have, uh, yeah, that you can check on on the website. Uh, from each master program, it's listed like what kind of subjects you're supposed to to have knowledge of. Um, if you're in doubt, I uh, recommend to to apply because for for the master cases, it's really in in on individual basis. You can do an el first eligibility check on our website if you uh, if you would like to get a first uh, impression. And then a few more. Um, Overall information deadline would be uh, yeah, 1st of May if you want to start um, next week in September. So by then we would need to have all uh, uh, yeah, applications submitted. Then uh, yeah, about the costs for the bachelor program, it costs between yeah, around 10,000 euros per year. Um, you can uh, find on the right side an estimation for cost of living per year. It really depends on your living standard, of, of course. For the master, the costs depend on the program. So the, the social science program programs are normally one year, the non-engineering ones. Um, and the engineering programs go two years. So here's also then the variation in costs for those programs. And then if you think about financing and you would like to uh, apply for a scholarship, we have a scholarship finder on our website. You can find the orange link here. Um, I, uh, yeah, we listed the ones uh, um, that are applicable for Indonesia. But if you want to know if this also applies for the specific program that um, you're interested in, um, just have a deeper look here uh, that you can uh, yeah, select on uh, which program you're interested in, where you come from, and then um, it will give you all the details which might apply for you. And with that having said, I will uh, give the word to our student ambassador, Haney, and uh, yeah, please uh, tell us your story. Well, thank you, Hannah. Hi, everyone. My name is Henny Ju. Uh, I'm originally from Batam Island in Indonesia. I'm currently a master's student in mechanical engineering. And besides that, I'm also working as a student marketing ambassador uh, for Indonesia. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so uh, first, I will, first today I will share a little bit of my experience of being an international student here uh, at the University of Tante. Uh, first, I will tell you a little bit about what I like about studying at the University of the Twente. 
uh, before coming in here, uh, I really wanted to study in Europe. Uh, and Netherlands is one of the European country which offers a lot of uh, English thought programs. And from the beginning, I also knew that I wanted to study mechanical engineering. Then I searched for the universities here. And there are currently four uni technical universities which offer this program. And at the end, I chose University of Tunda because of its uh, unique campus vibes. And also, I really like how they implement the programs for mechanical engineering. And what I like about studying in here is uh, they guide you, like the university guides you, give a lot of guidance if you have uh, study related problems or also personal issues, you can always uh, go to your student advisor and they're always there to give you the best advice of what to do. Uh, and also what I like about my program is also they offer a lot of practical practical projects which really helped me to grow uh, personally and also prof professionally. And besides that, I also like uh, the close relationship between teachers and students. So if you have any questions, the teachers are more than welcome to answer your questions. Um, yes, and also I feel very welcome here as an international student since there are also quite a lot of international students here at the University of Tunda. And yeah, that's what I like about studying here at the University of Toronto. And also the campus vibes are very nice. Uh, uh, University of Toronto is actually the only uh, university which has a full uh, facilities campus. So they have their own grounds. There are a lot of uh, so, like nice, nice uh, greeneries around the campus and also library, gym, uh, supermarket. You can find everything here at the campus and it's all reachable by bike or just by walking. It's a very pretty campus, I would say. And the next slide. So about living in Enskede. Uh, Enskede, as Hannah explained before, it's uh, located in the east part of the Netherlands. It's only two to three hours uh, by train from Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. And it's a very beautiful city. Uh, Everything is reachable by bike. As you can see here, I, mean, I always enjoy biking around the city. And for example, just going biking to the city centers is only 15 minutes uh, from campus, if you live in campus. And yeah, they have a lot of beautiful sceneries around parks you can visit. Um, and also, since it's a student city and we have quite a lot of internationals, and most of the Dutch people, uh, like Hannah said, 90% of them speak English. So it, uh, you can easily make friends and people around you are more like very enthusiastic to learn about your culture. And you can also exchange your cultures with their cultures. So it, it is very exciting there, especially as an Indonesian student. I feel very welcome. They always ask me for advice, like what kind of food, like in Indonesia and also yeah, they are very enthusiastic of, of our culture. And besides studying, I'm also part of uh, a member of a Solar Botwente, as you can see in the picture below. So Solar Botwente is one of the student teams at University of Twente. So besides your study, and pro uh, you can also participate in student-related uh, projects. So what we do is uh, we build and design solar boat, which will compete in solar sport uh, uh, solar sport competition in Monaco next year. So it's all consisting of students. So you're working together with students and it's not the only one student team in university. We have a lot of them. So you can choose uh, which project you would like to participate on. And also, as uh, Hannah explained, uh, in Indonesia is actually one of the top uh, country here at the University of Twente. Uh, so we have our own Indonesian association. Uh, it's called PPI Enskede. Uh, it's very nice. It's always nice to know, uh, to know uh, people from your country. We also have our own group where you can share uh, information and or when you need to find help from them, it's very nice. They always share 
very informative uh, news also in the chat. Uh, next. Uh, so, yeah, as explained, uh, University of Twente currently has more than 11,000 students, which 29% of them are international. So it is a very international university. So don't worry, you will easily make friends. Uh, and currently we have around 45 bachelor Indonesian students and also around for 45 Indonesian master students. Uh, so yeah, you can find a lot of different nationalities here. And as I said, they are more than welcome and very enthusiastic to exchange cultures. Uh, the next slide. So as a non-European student, you are able to work with a work uh, permit. Um, you can work and study at the same time, but uh, however, you should take into consideration a few aspects uh, and not count uh, this income to finance your study or living costs. Uh, and also after your studies, you can obtain a ZUKYAR, um, which is an orientation uh, or an orientation visa for non-European students who graduate at who graduated at uh, Netherlands institution. Uh, this is a working visa which you can use to find job after your studies, uh, which is provided by the Netherlands. And the next slide is, yeah, as I say, the orientation. Next is housing. Um, the nice thing also about University of Twente is they guarantees uh, to offer all first year international students an affordable and housing, especially uh, the housings in, in the campus. However, uh, you need to really take some, it might take some time to find a room. So since there are, we have quite a lot of international students and students looking for housing, so please take into consideration uh, when you're looking for accommodation, uh, apply before the deadline, which is the 1st of July. So the sooner, the better. Uh, yeah, the sooner you applied and secured your place, then it's, uh, it's nice. And also some of the rooms are, especially for non-European students who needs uh, an entry or residence permit, usually the, room of, the rooms offered are uh, furnished. So there is bed, there, there are a lot of application, uh, like housing application applications that you need already provided in there. So you don't need to prepare anything. Uh, you can do this, uh, you can do this by visiting uh, this website called uh, roomspot.nl and you can, you can, uh, the housings are listed under a spatial offer by UT. So just take a look in there and yeah, you can see a few housings in there. So uh, that's it from my side. Uh, Hannah will take over. Thank you. Thank you, Nini, for sharing. And uh, yeah, here with we are uh, yeah, at the end of our presentation. And then I would like to first point out that it's, uh, yeah, if you have any more questions to Heini, she's um, available on our Facebook portal for Indonesian students. So in case you'd like to hear more about uh, her story or you don't know where to find information, she can support you um, yeah, getting the right contact. Um, also some more options to stay in contact are uh, our Indonesian website where you can find uh, yeah, information in your language. Um, in case you already know which program you're interested in and you're really curious to talk to a current student following that program, we offer the Skype option. So uh, via the Skype study orientation, you can uh, yeah, make a one-on-one -on -one call with a student that's currently uh, yeah, following that, that program. Um, our general uh, inf uh, yeah, information email are listed here. And of course, we are available today and tomorrow. Um, our uh, counselors from uh, the recruitment uh, agencies from Atlas and from AHEO are available um, one today and one tomorrow. Please uh, feel free to get in contact with them uh, to yeah, receive further information. Yeah. And with that, uh, I thank you for your intention and yeah, we're curious to answer your questions now. 
Okay. Thank you very much for a very interesting explanation and presentations. Now we move on to question and session, uh, question and answer sessions. Uh, I have seen that several questions have already answered by Ms. Liande on a YouTube comment, but I would like to repeat uh, a few of them. So maybe further explanation can be given and more audiences can uh, know and maybe can understand uh, the answer of the questions. Okay, so the first question um, is about the, the connections or the link of after graduated from the University of Twente. It is uh, asked by uh, someone in the YouTube comments that most of uh, her lecture are graduated uh, from master in Twente. Uh, how's the opportunity of 20 graduate students to look for a job in Netherlands? Do you have any strong relationship with the industry? Um, it has been answered, but would you please elaborate a little bit more about uh, the strong connection and uh, the probability of graduate students, uh, student who has been graduated from 20 university to get a job in the Netherlands or maybe in the other parts of European Union? Um, Liana, did you pick that up? Would you like to, to elaborate on that or would you like me to answer? Okay. Yeah, I responded that the University of Twente is the most entrepre entrepreneurial university of the Netherlands. We're actually number one. So we have a very strong link to industry. So if you're, for example, interested during your studies to uh, start up a company, we have a, um, a knowledge center where you can get advice and even start up funds to start a, a small company. So I think there are definitely not, uh, quite a number of opportunities um, to, uh, to look for a job and even to start your own company. Okay, so the opportunity, opportunity is actually quite big and after uh, the students are graduated, will it be guided or advised by, uni by the university, for example, to join like career center in order to get more in touch with the industry? Uh, definitely. Also, during um, all master studies, uh, students go for an internship, so they have a direct link to a company, most of the times in the Netherlands, uh, sometimes also abroad. So, uh, yeah, we, we definitely create a link to industry. Okay, uh, next question, very well noted. Um, there is a question uh, asking about master degree in MBA program, but you already answered that you do not have an MBA program, with, but we, you do offer more technical program in business administration. Would you please uh, explain a little bit more about a uh, technical program in business administration because the next question will be can you like the the the, the person who asks uh, would like to explain a little bit more about the business the technical uh, program in business administration would you please uh, help him would you like me to answer hannah yeah please yeah yeah i, I think it's important to understand that we are a university focusing um, on technology. As Hannah explained, it's, uh, it's really uh, a technical university, so to say. So we don't offer a traditional masters of business administration. Um, our masters of business administration has a strong focus on technology. So it's also very important that you're, that you're strong, that you have a strong background in, um, in mathematics if you are going to join our program. In the YouTube link, I shared the, the site of the, of the master program. So I advise the student uh, who asked the questions on business admin to go through this site and to check the study guide, guide carefully. So if you have a background, for example, in only economics, it might become very difficult. Mm. Yeah, so um, again, I shared the link. So I really advise the student to have a look at this site carefully 
And if there are more questions, of course, they can post us uh, these questions right now or send us an email. Okay, so for webinar participant, if you have any questions, you can just simply uh, ask them. There is a link on your screen. There are several links that you can visit. And also you can ask anything during the virtual uh, fair. It will be held today and also tomorrow. Very well noted. So we move on to the next question. Actually, it is still related to, to the question that you have been answered, Landy, regarding the Dutch Tout uh, bachelor programs. So it is a um, following question. Yeah, I now okay. understand that this student wants to participate in the health sciences, sciences program. Yes, correct. Uh, Hannah and Henny, that program is in Dutch, right? The bachelor, yes. Yeah, so um, yeah, for the level, I don't know, perhaps Hani, Hannah and Henny know, uh, but otherwise uh, I'll, I'll look it up and I'll send you the answer in the, in the YouTube channel. I do believe that you're, um, if you want to participate in this program, your Dutch should be pretty good. Yeah, you need actually a stats exam, so uh, it's not in English right now. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, you need a certificate to have studied Dutch as a, as a uh, foreign language. So you need to have a really high uh, um, grade. I sent you a link, Leanne. Maybe I can't text in the chat here myself. Maybe you can post it there. Um, okay, I got, I got the link. So I will post it in the YouTube channel right now. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, we move on to next questions. Do you have any minimum requirement for master degree if someone's GPA for bachelor degree is below the requirement? Can he or she still get accepted to the to the university? Or is there any other way to, to get accepted in the university besides having a good GPA for bachelors? Yeah, I can answer again. Uh, I'm afraid if your GPA is below the percentage men mentioned in the slide of Hannah, it will become very difficult. Sorry for that. Very difficult means it is not possible, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um... Next question. Uh, as we know, currently we are in the middle of a pandemic that uh, almost everything changed during the pandemics. Is there any different um, teaching uh, way in University of Twente du during the pandemic? Is it all online courses right now or is it any compulsory face-to-face uh, -face meetings or how University of Twente uh, try to overcome the pandemic situation. Uh, yeah, I can elaborate on that. Um, well, once the pandemic started, we uh, moved everything online within one week. And uh, up until summer, we had only online courses. But we are also very much striving to have personal contact um, in the sense of as much as possible we do offline um, and as much as needed we do online. So at the moment, there are, well, I don't dare to say a percentage, but uh, there, there are courses taking place on campus, especially small ones where you need to go to your, to your research laboratories or tutorials, like where you need, need to be around uh, other students, especially for first years to get to know their fellow students and, and be able to make a connection and uh, start uh, to have a network. Um, but of course, um, we're ready to, to move online and the big lectures are online. Maybe Heni, uh, from your experience, uh, you can add to that. Um, yes, uh, from my experience, uh, especially for my course in Master in Mechanical Engineering, most of the lectures are online. And the nice thing is uh, some of them are uh, recorded, so you can actually go back uh, and rewatch the lectures. And also, uh, some of practicals are, uh, are actually taking in place in campus. I have a practical coming up next week, but 
yeah, to follow the corona procedures, uh, there are limited space uh, for the practical. For my case, I think it's around four to five students, uh, including the teachers. Uh, so yeah, so far, most of the courses are online. And also the examination is taking, some of them are taking in place uh, in campus. And if you have like presentations, most, most of them are online. Also the project groups, uh, the meetings are online. All right, very well noted. So basically there's a adjustment uh, during the pandemic situations. Okay, everyone, uh, every webinar participants, uh, you can still visit uh, University of Twente at the virtual fair. So please do not forget to log in to event.ehab.id so you can visit and ask more questions, deeper questions regarding the university. Uh, it will be available today and also tomorrow. So please do not forget to join us uh, at the virtual fair. To Hannah, uh, Henny and Ms. Leandi, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for the presentations. Uh, we hope that uh, future inter international students from Indonesia can join your university. And please uh, take care and we will see you again during the virtual fair. Thank you very much for your time. Please You're do welcome. take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you, goodbye. Bye-bye.